Bring that gorgeous Mustang out here, baby. There are only a couple of things that Danny Coker loves more than cars, and that's something we've come to know thanks to his internationally famous show, Counting Cars. However, long before The Count became a worldwide known TV star, he'd already started a million dollar worth car and bike collection, which has not only brought him lots of joy as the expert automotive fan, but is also nowadays the main attraction of his Las Vegas-based business, Count's Car Tour. So what are the most amazing cars that Danny Coker owns? Are there some modern cars in that collection? Or does he stay loyal to what he regards as the classics? And which is the most expensive of the 50 cars he owns? Stay here to know all about Danny Coker's insane but undoubtedly impressive car collection. Danny Coker is indisputably a fan of the classics, so his collection wouldn't be complete without one of the most stunning-looking classic cars ever made. The 1932 Ford Roadster is not a rare sight for Counting Cars fans, as Danny has proudly shown it several times throughout the show's airings. And as one of his almost daily drives, the car is in such a good condition both inside and out that it's almost impossible not to admire it. Nonetheless, its beautiful and admittedly extravagant design isn't the only thing memorable about the 1932 Ford Roadster. As it happens, this car marked a significant milestone in America's automotive history, inspiring Hot Wheels to create its toy version back in the 1970s. Regarding Danny's model, the 1932 Roadster, baptized as the Vamp Rod, is one of the crown jewels in his collection, as he told the Globe and Mail in 2013. It's one of the oldest and most historic hot rods in the nation. I acquired the car back in the early 80s, and it's been with me ever since. My father and I found this car together and bought this car out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, back in 1983. So she's been with me an awfully long time. Although the Vamp Rod used to be a spidery style shiny black, in 2021, the car was repainted by Count's Customs to imitate one of the flame-adorned model toys by Hot Wheels. Muscle cars surely marked a memorable age in America's automotive history, so it's understandable that Danny Coker has several of these in his collection, starting with the 1972 Oldsmobile Cutlass. Count Coker nowadays owns one of these General Motors-made cars, though he didn't actually plan on keeping it in the first place. The 1972 Cutlass arrived at Count's Customs Garage in 2015, when the shop staff renovated it to its initial glory and only added the modern touches to the mechanical parts. After all the work was done, the cream and honey colored Cutlass looked right out of a 1970s movie, yet the initial price of $45,000 didn't convince the buyer, who expected to resell it around that price, and so counter-offered $35,000. In the end, Danny just couldn't accept the low price, and the Cutlass has had a permanent spawn in his garage ever since. It's a shame we couldn't make a deal on this beautiful Cutlass, man, but after all the love and money we put in this baby, trying to let her go for less than 40 grand is just not doable. But that's okay. I'll find the right buyer for this car, and in the meantime, I just might have a little fun with it. Those who have closely followed Counting Cars surely remember the electric blue 1967 Pontiac GTO which was stored in Danny Coker's garage for a long time. This beautiful convertible muscle car was exhibited in Count's Customs Museum, until in recent years Danny took it out and occasionally used it as a daily drive. The 1967 GTO certainly honored its reputation as an eye-catching car, and soon enough attracted the attention of an automotive fan who happened to visit the shop. Danny had no intention of selling the car, but things didn't go as planned when his not-for-sale offer was well received. And he wanted the car really bad. He asked for a number on the car, and I gave a number that is the not for sale number. You know what I'm talking about? What that means is uh, you throw out a number that's every bit of what the car is worth because I really am not looking to sell it. And uh, the gentleman uh, absolutely did not hesitate in any way, shape, or form. He admitted in a video shared on Counting Cars platforms in 2019, on which he admitted to be torn about saying goodbye to the car. In the end, the car was sold to its now happy owner, but it's for sure that Danny still warmly remembers his 1967 Pontiac GTO as one of the best he's ever had in his collection. Danny Coker's love for Cadillacs is well known too, though the exact number he has in his collection isn't known. 
As he affirmed in a 2019 YouTube video, he owns more Cadillacs than anything else in his collection. And that's certainly remarkable coming from a man whose knowledge about cars is rarely matched. One of the most memorable Cadillacs owned by Danny is the mint 1969 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. This particular auto was bought by Danny during a Texas trip and after going through several changes became a regular ride for him, especially when it comes to its air conditioning system and mechanics. The car is in beautiful condition and sports elegant paint details done by Count's Customs. True to his fame as the Count, it's unsurprising that Danny Coker owns quite a good number of eye-catching, exuberant cars. One of those is definitely the 1971 Cadillac Eldorado Convertible, which stands out from other cars in Danny's collection for its uniqueness, not only in looks, but also for its story. The Cadillac owned by Danny is a Superfly, originally customized by Les Dunham, who created several of them by installing the body of an Eldorado on the chassis of a Corvette. The car's name comes from the 1972 movie Superfly, which popularized the car to the point that it's still highly desired by muscle car fans to this day, prompting the production of parts which try to simulate the style conveyed by Dunham in the peak days of his company, Dunham Coach. Unlike the black 1971 Eldorado Superfly from the movie, Danny's is golden and is certainly everything one would expect to find in his garage. Nevertheless, it's not a car fit to grace the road every day, that are left for special occasions, which truthfully, Danny knows well. Following the line of Cadillacs, there's a model in Danny Coker's garage which might surprise even his most loyal fans. Although it's widely known that the Count prefers his rides to be classic, he isn't afraid of technology or newer cars, and the 2000 Cadillac STS V stationed in his garage is proof of that. As Danny admitted on a YouTube video, he chose that specific car as one of his regular rides for its spacious interior which allows a six foot, two inches, almost two meter tall man like him to drive comfortably on top of other benefits. Sometimes I also do things like business dinners and things like that. So it's nice to be able to take four large size uh, adults in a vehicle and go somewhere. Although Danny's 2008 Cadillac's design is well into the modern side of things, that doesn't take away the fact that it's a beautiful ride just to look at. There are very few cars in Danny Coker's garage which can rival that of the 1973 Buick Riviera in elegance. Although the previous owner certainly did a good job in bringing the car back to life, it still wasn't close to what Danny wanted out of it when he bought it in 2014 for $5,000. Known for its characteristic boat tail design, the 1973 Buick Riviera has become a rare sight in today's market as it was a model discontinued shortly after its release back in the 1970s. That explains why Danny was eager to buy it and spend an entire year on its renovation, finally turning it into a beautiful work of automotive art. With its shiny black painted body, which is accompanied by silver, golden, and red details all over the body. The Buick Riviera boat tail was ultimately exhibited at 2014's Specialty Equipment Market Association SEMA event, leaving everyone open-mouthed for good reasons. Nowadays, the car can be found in Danny's personal exhibition, he surely won't part with it anytime soon. No car collection would be complete without a supercar, and Danny Coker knows that well. Hence why he's owned several, including an emblematic 1983 Lamborghini Countach. Painted white and sporting a futuristic design, this car definitely stands out from the rest in Danny's collection, both in looks and in price. Given how pricey and luxurious the 1983 Countach is, it's understandable that the Count doesn't drive it regularly, and instead, put it for exhibition at Count's Car Tours in Las Vegas. Another iconic Lamborghini owned by Danny is the dark purple 1992 Diablo, which was sold by him several years ago and is currently on sale in the famous car dealership Barrett Jackson for an astounding price of $187,000, surely giving us an idea of how much Danny's Countach might cost these days. Some cars definitely bring up good family memories, and that's something that Danny Coker took into consideration when he bought his 1955 Chevy Gasser. Back in her youth, Danny's mom owned one of these coupes, and despite selling it some years later, she apparently always treasured the memory of the good times she had with it. Fast forward several years, when Danny's father bought his wife a 1955 Chevrolet Gasser and dutifully restored it to look the same as the one she had sold, even keeping its turquoise paint job. 
Not only was the thoughtful gesture engraved in young Danny's mind, but also awakened his love for Chevy Gassers, resulting in him buying exactly the same car a couple of decades later from a man in Oregon. It's kind of when I really started falling in love with 55 Chevys. I just thought the body style was absolutely gorgeous. So I've always loved 55 Chevys. Um, so for me, I knew I always wanted to have one in my collection. The right one came along. I bought it. According to Danny, the 1955 Gasser had some customized features such as an aluminum wheels, giving it a street machine vibe, which he enjoyed for some time, and had it as a regular drive. Later, when he founded Counts Customs, the car was restored by his staff, adding some eye-catching red and gold details over its shiny black painted body. The car is nowadays exhibited at the Counts Las Vegas shop, right next to the turquoise 1955 Chevy Gasser, which once belonged to his mother. Danny Coker owns a wide variety of specialty cars, but this is one of those that children dream about. The 1981 Corvette C3 is one of Chevrolet's most famous supercars, with a slick exterior more than fitting for magazine covers. Despite its exuberant and attention-catching appearance, Danny isn't afraid of taking his red 1981 C3 for a drive from time to time. However, what makes Danny's car different from the rest of the Corvette C3s out there are the many modifications it's gone through, starting with adjustments to its mechanics and body to make it lighter. Secondly, Danny upgraded its horsepower to 525 and adding other mechanical features which finally resulted in what he describes as a fun car. Nonetheless, years before adding all those upgrades, the 1981 Corvette C3 was already one of Danny's favorites. As he affirmed in a YouTube video from 2019, he bought the car at an auction when he moved to Las Vegas in 1988 and used it for a long time without modifying anything, not even its silver and black painted exterior or its mechanics. It's no wonder that the car is still one of Danny's favorites. Another car in Danny Coker's collection with a really good story is the 1995 Dodge Viper. This car belongs to the first generation of Vipers produced in the first half of the 1990s before updates to its design began in 1995. Although the Viper is already quite special in its own for its side pipes and shiny paint job, it also brings back good memories for Danny. As he recalled in a YouTube video, he first caught sight of a Viper back in 1998 when he briefly returned to his native Detroit for a family reunion and was like nothing he'd ever seen before. The very, very, very first time I ever saw a Dodge Viper, uh, I did not know what in the world it was. Frankly, nobody knew what it was. Although the car seen by Danny that night was apparently a prototype and not a Viper itself, it surely left such a good impression on him that he bought one as soon as the opportunity presented itself. Cars have become the witness of many incredible family stories throughout the years. For Danny Coker, it all has to do with his father. And the 1966 Mustang GT350, which introduced him to the life of a car lover. My father bought this car when I was nine years old. This car was then handed down to me and my father went home to be with the Lord and I cannot express how special this car is to me. She inspires me all the time. He told the Globe and Mail in 2013, also adding how the car's emotional significance lay in the fact that it belonged to his father and was passed down to him afterwards. There are some cars which definitely mark people forever and Danny Coker certainly knows that better than most people. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.